amiguitos y amigos del Rincón Infantil. Ahora quiero platicarles de la semana de niños que tuvimos que terminó ayer. En esta semana de regalos de Jesús um, estuvo con nosotros la hermana Delia Gutiérrez, la hermana de la pastora Camarena. De todos los um, regalos que hablamos, mi favorito fue el gozo y la paz. Ahora vamos a ver el versículo que se encuentra en Romanos 15, 13. Lo voy a leer en español de inglés. Que el Dios de la esperanza nos llene de toda alegría y paz. Ahora en inglés. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace. Ahora vamos a, a ver una lección um, de la gozo y de paz que aprendimos en la Semana de Niños. En la lección vamos a ver un globo que, que va a representar la gente que no tiene Jesús, ni su gozo, ni su paz. Y el otro globo va, va a representar la gente que sí tiene su gozo y su paz. Vamos a ver lo que pasa. Hello, friends. My name is Steve, and I'm thankful for the opportunity to be here with you guys to share with you something uh, that's very meaningful, an object lesson on joy and peace. Now we're going to share with you, um, through this illustration, a candle, which the candle is going to represent life and what life throws at us. Maybe you've experienced different emotions like anger, uh, resentment, maybe you've been upset, uh, you've been hurt, or you've been sad, and you just didn't know what to do. Uh, maybe you had a good friend uh, say something negative or, or bad about you, or maybe you had uh, someone a brother or sister say something or do something mean to you, or maybe a teacher blamed you uh, for something that you didn't do. And maybe parents out there, maybe your kids um, don't do what you say, or maybe you've lost a job and you're trying to figure out where the money's gonna come from to pay for the bills. And really at the end of the day, we just don't know what to do. How do we handle the situations that happen in our lives? So again, in this illustration, In this object lesson, this candle represents life and what happens our way. And really, when these things happen, we have a choice to make. Are we going to call on Jesus or are we going to um, just go on and, and, and try to deal with these things ourselves? So I have my son Isaiah here and we have an experiment with these two different balloons. One balloon is going to represent an individual who just tries to do things on their own, doesn't call upon Jesus. And then the other example is going to be someone who does call on Jesus for that peace and that joy. So this first illustration again is someone who comes uh, to, um, who does not come to Jesus and is trying to figure out life. Whoa! And just like that, right? We might explode on somebody or we might uh, be angry or those types of things. But why don't we take a look at a life Now we're actually going to need to relight the light here, and then we'll be right back. Well, we have our light back on, and if if you know life, you know that even when the light the light goes off a little bit, it comes back on with different trials and troubles that come our way. So <clears throat> the trials are back, and now we're going to use the illustration of a balloon um, that has that peace and that joy that God gives us even through the trials. And so uh, Isaiah is going to use this illustration of this balloon to see what happens uh, when we call on Jesus. You know, what's unique in this situation is we put water in this balloon and that water represents that peace and that joy that God gives us. In fact, the Bible says in Philippians 4, <clears throat> verse 6 and 7, it says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Friends, we don't have anything to be anxious about. We need to come to Jesus. Jesus, our, our Savior, our Redeemer, our everything, wants to give us that peace and joy that only comes from Him, that comes from above. I'm going to leave you with this promise in Isaiah 43, verse 1 and 2. And the Bible says, When you pass through the waters, 
I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. And I just think it's just so beautiful. And my encouragement to you is that you would trust Jesus with all your heart. And that even though the flame sometimes is a small flame or sometimes is a huge fire of flames in your life, that you will come to Jesus. You can trust him through everything. God bless you. And I hope this was a blessing for you. Espero que les haya gustado este mensaje y que tengan paz y gozo siempre. Adiós, amiguitos. Nos vemos la próxima vez.